Hello, my name is Whitney Sabiano, and I believe that picture books are for everybody. Yesterday on my blog, I posted about It Began With a Page, How Gio Fujikawa Drew the Way by Keo McClear and Julie Morstad as the author and illustrator. And I wanted to share with you sort of the experience of reading the book. I can tell you how I felt about it. I can tell you what I learned from it. But actually seeing the pictures and uh, what I really find is, is enjoyable about this book is the layout. Um, all these little individual scenes and then two two page spreads uh, that are full color um, and are sort of contrasted in this way that like one is more like somebody's drawing and one is more like somebody's life. Um, I wanted to share that with you and tell you if you want to know more about this great book, go check out my blog. I'm going to link it below. But if you just want to get a feel for it or an idea of the really beautiful art, um, uh, here's your opportunity to do that. And then when I'm done flipping through this, I will show you Babies by Gio Fujikawa. And it's kind of similar. Um, it's got a lot fewer words. It is made for very young children and it is much more um, appropriate <laughs> for babies than something that is is for older children or even my daughter is five. I've read this to her. She likes it. Um, I certainly have gotten a lot out of this book uh, as an adult and I recommend it to anybody with an interest in children's book illustration, the Japanese American experience, um, publishing generally interesting stories of incredible artists or just people. So here we start to get into the babies category uh, or, or section of the book. And the babies are all over the place. And the nice thing about this picture book biography is at the end, you've got a timeline of significant events in her life. You've got pictures of her and you've also sort of got like a question and answer with the author and illustrator. And then you've got a bibliography and some sources um, to get more information if you're interested in it. I think picture book biographies are such a great opportunity to get the story of a person or an event or um, some kind of historical context for something or even sometimes picture books um, can be nonfiction and about scientific principles or you know just they're fascinating opportunities to with 10 minutes maybe of your time get a well-rounded um, like mini education on a subject that if you love it you can read something more in depth, you can seek out other sources. Um, and if you feel satisfied, you can move on to the next one. And in doing so, you can also enjoy beautiful art very often. So this is a, a wonderful example of that. And I highly recommend it to anybody. And I suggest if you can get it from your library, our libraries just opened up here to returns and curbside pickup. Can't browse, um, which is how I came across this book because uh, I generally work in a library as a circulation assistant. Um, if you put a hold on a book at a library and it's at another location or if it's even just on the shelves and needs to be set aside for you, I'm the one who goes and grabs those books. If you return a library book, please do. Um, <laughs> If your libraries are taking returns, um, I and, and my colleagues um, will put them on a cart and then go around and shelve them on the library uh, on the library shelves. And we do that with DVDs, Blu-rays, CDs, um, picture books, nonfiction books, adult books, history books, books of different languages. Um, and uh, so so I come across a lot of books that way. So I've been missing work. I've been missing the opportunity to spend time with my coworkers, to hang out with the the patrons or customers at the library just being around lots of books all the time because I'm one of those people who just like grabs books throughout the day and with picture books it's kind of justifiable as you can see over my shoulder I've got other books too and even with quarantine I still have not been reading physical adult books as much as I would like um, I've been tending toward audiobooks and ebooks and things like that I mean it used to be bigger. At the beginning of this, it was a larger selection. Um, it's not so big now. And um, 
So I got a little bit off topic there, but uh, yeah, I, I definitely came across this one and I recognize the name of the subject because we have Gyo Fujikawa's babies right here. So she wrote a lot and illustrated a lot of picture books. We also have baby animals, but I couldn't find it in order to show it off. But I wanted to show you, it kind of has a similar illustrative uh, style with the, the different, this one, you know, kind of the circle of, of similar, uh, but, but just like different uh, little scenes going on. And then a two-page spread um, that that is more sort of everybody all together. So I thought you might enjoy an opportunity. Oh, those naughty babies! Oh, they're sweet babies to uh, to see them as they were ori originally illustrated and sort of compare them to the way that Julie Morstad does her version of Gio's illustrations. And um, yeah, so. On that note, I've got one more book I'd like to I'd like to recommend, and this is called "You Are New" by Lucy Nisley, and you may recognize that name. She is a prolific graphic memoirist, and also um, she's got some other books. I think she just came out with a graphic novel that I really want. It's called Stepping Stones. I'm gonna get it. I think it's a junior graphic novel. Can't get it yet got to put in a request at the library. Library is moving a lot slower without the circulation assistance. And again, I still have a ton of books to read, so I don't need to rush them. I will be patient. I've got enough to work on right now. And um, about this book, you are new. I love the babies on the, uh, on the end pages. And I think I, I went through my shelves. I had a few books about babies. Um, I have Little You by, it's Richard Van Camp and Julie Flett. I have Baby Beluga based on Raffi, uh, Raffi's song and Ashley, illustrated by Ashley Wolf. But those are very literal. They're very specific. They're about babies. And I thought, I'm trying to make the case that picture books are for everyone. I think that most people with babies know that picture books are good for them. <laughs> so while those are great, while we got a lot of mileage out of those when my daughter was younger, we don't read them as much these days. Um, but You Are New is something that I would recommend even to people who don't have young children, who don't want young children or children, um, people who, who have older children or people who, like I would suggest you do, uh, read picture books for self-care or as a, as a practice in, in sort of reminding oneself of your values, of, of reminding you to be grateful, of remind, of learning things in this excessive way that also exposes you to art. Um, I'm, I'm a big advocate for picture books for all of us. And you are new to me, despite the baby parade on the covers, um, I think is very universal. I mean, everyone did start as a baby, right? Um, but that's not where this book ends, which I think distinguishes itself from at least the other books that I had about babies. There are a lot more baby books at the library. I miss my library. <laughs> anyway, um, it is just like a really, oh, oh, okay. I got to stop looking at the pictures. I'm getting too distracted by the cute babies. It's a rhyming picture book celebrating the newness of literal new humans, like actual babies on the purpose. Um, but also as they grow, like you think, you know, you're not new anymore, but then there's new opportunities as you get older. Hold on. You won't be new at all. But wait, the new experience is swimming. The new experience could be making friends. The new experience could be, I love this, seeing yourself in a different way. And that is something that, that we can do. Um, at any age and that is not something that is exclusively the realm of children so the books today you are new by lucy nisley babies by gyo fujikawa and it began with a page about gyo fujikawa but it's by julie morstad and keo mcclear and uh, i recommend you check those out i recommend you check out any other interesting picture books that look like they might appeal to you and subscribe. Check out my blog. 
follow me around. And I will continue making the case that picture books are for everybody. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.